A blessed good morning to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to today's devotion with Father Christian. Today, we remember St. James the Apostle. We give thanks to the Father who has made us worthy to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading for today, Monday, 26th July, is written in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, verses 27 through chapter 12, verse 3. At that time, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and predicted by the Spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world, and this took place during the reign of Claudius. The disciples determined that according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. About that time, King Herod laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He had James, the brother of John, killed with the sword. After he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. This was during the festival of unleavened bread. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. James, his brother John, the evangelist, and Peter were special favorites of the Lord. Jesus allowed them to be witnesses of his transfiguration, the raising of Jairus' daughter, and the agony in the garden. James was called the greater because he was either older or taller than the other apostle named James. He was the son of a prosperous Galilean fisherman, Zebedee, and with his brother John, left his home and his trade in obedience to the call of Christ. One day, James and his brother John made the other apostles angry. Both told Jesus that they thought they deserve a special place in his kingdom. They bragged that they would be able to sacrifice their lives as Jesus was going to sacrifice his. Jesus took them aside. He told them they did not understand what true service to others meant. He said that anyone who wanted to be truly great had to be servant to others. Jesus was trying to teach them what he expected of them. Eventually, James and John did learn from everything Jesus taught. They became great examples of faith for all of Jesus' followers. After Pentecost, James stayed in Jerusalem to preach about Jesus, even though it was dangerous to be known as a Christian. His expressed willingness to share the cup of Christ was realized in his being the first of the apostles to die for him. As the Acts of the Apostles records, About that time, Herod the king laid violent hands upon some who belonged to the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. May his soul continue to rest in peace. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray the collect for today, St. James the Apostle. O gracious God, remember before you today your servant and Apostle James, first among the twelve to suffer martyrdom for the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that you will pour out upon the leaders of your church the, that spirit of self-denying service by which alone they may have true authority among your people, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance remain with us always. And may the souls of the faithful depart through the mercies of God rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Do have a blessed day, my friends. God be with you till we meet again.